family welcome back to my channel in today's video I am showing you guys my favorite thing ever I think all Haitian favorite thing ever Clemas yes Clemas so today's video I am showing you guys how I do my Clemas everybody do it differently so I'm showing you how I learn how to do it for my mom and um, so yeah so right now I'm just showing you guys the ingredients I use so I have a uh, cream of coconut, Lopez cream of coconut. Um, I love my cremas to have co um, cocoye, which is coconut. Definitely, it's a must. I like the taste and everything. So, um, you need carnation milk. You need condensed milk. Definitely, um, I am using the Diamond 151 Overproof Rum. Now, in Haiti, <coughs> they use a special type of alcohol. But it's really hard to find it in the United States. So you you do need something strong. I feel like some people use babonku, which is a Haitian rum. I feel like it's not strong enough. And this one is very strong. So we have sugar. We need the lime for the water and the zest. Glove is definitely necessary. And we have some pure almond, pure vanilla, some cinnamon, some nutmeg, this cheesecloth, cotton. We're going to show you how to use that. We need uh, a couple bowls. And this right here is a milk that I um, boiled. It's right here. It's a uh, milk I boiled, gallon of milk, half a gallon of milk. I boil it with some anise and cinnamon stick. I boil it for an hour or hour and a half. And then I let it cool, completely cool down. And you definitely need a wooden spoon, okay? My mom always say, if you don't have a wooden spoon, you cannot make cremas. You need a wooden spoon. You cannot stir it with anything else. <laughs> um, now I have some fresh uh, dry coconut, which I'm going to blend. You're going to see later on. And I left, I peeled some of the back and I left some. I don't know, it was really hard to peel. So I left some. And then you're going to need a grater and then a couple bowls. You definitely need a couple bowls and then a clean area because uh, cremas is very sensitive. So you need a clean area. Okay, guys. So right now we're just going to use that gallon of milk um, that I boiled that I show you guys. And then we are going to blend that with the coconuts. And just, just to get a nice um, coconut milk mixture, I guess. Um, and then we're going to blend and strain it. And we could get started. our nice coconut milk mixture now we're gonna add our sugar I usually <laughs> I usually wing this okay when so when I'm making any food or any cake or cremas or whatever I usually just wing it you kind of just know of how much to put but because you know I'm showing you guys this video and I'm making it so I am measuring things you know, so I in this video I use about six cups of six cup of sugar, 
and we're just gonna add sugar and we are going to mix now very important thing about mix mixing climas okay you have to choose which side you want to mix okay if you want to go on the right side you are only going to stir that climas on the right side until you are done same thing for the left so you choose one side you cannot just go from right to left and left to right it doesn't work that way so right now I am stirring stirring and you're gonna stir until you can't feel your hands anymore and I'm not joking okay <laughs> so we're just gonna stir that until we um all the sugar is kind of like um, I guess melt but to be honest it's all of it not gonna just melt like that um that's why I usually um, leave my overnight and so it could fawn which mean melt so we're just gonna stir it until our hand hurts <laughs> After stirring for a good amount of minute, we're gonna take a break. And you see the thickness of the mixture? That's what you want. You know, no one wanna water down climas, and this is just the beginning step. So you want this, the sugar is what help give the thickness, and you want it just like that. Now we're gonna add our nutmeg, our cinnamon, and our lime zest. So I'm just using the regular nutmeg, not the powder. I don't like the powder one and we're gonna grate it on the smallest side side and um, I think I use more nutmeg than I show on the video so we're gonna use we're gonna you want to use a good amount because once we use the cheese cloth to strain the whole mixture some of the nutmeg is gonna be gone using one teaspoon of cinnamon and I'm just I shift it just to get any balls or anything out just to have a smooth um, cinnamon in the mixture and we are just gonna stir stir and add stir stir okay Now we are adding our lime zest. We're gonna grate it again in the smallest part. And you wanna get a lime that have, um, that's nice and dark, cause you want the green part. Once you start, once you're grating it and you, want, you see it's turning white, you don't want that part. So we're gonna add a good amount and we're gonna stir again. Now we have our nutmeg, cinnamon, and lime zest added. We stir until our hand hurt. Now we're just gonna leave this overnight in the fridge and we get started again. So guys, we have our cheesecloth over here and we have our mixture out of the fridge. We 
I cut some of the cheesecloth because we don't need a lot. And you will need a second bowl. I got this green bowl at um, Walmart for $5. It's nice, big, and deep. Perfect for making the cremas. So now we're going to um, stir again. As you can see, I can feel some sugar underneath. So we're going to stir and um, to get some of that sugar melted and to get the nutmeg and cinnamon and every uh, the lime zest mixed in again together. Now that cheesecloth is going to catch the lime zest, the uh, cinnamon or nutmeg, whatever that's not fine enough to be in the cremas, the cheesecloth is going to count. So I end up switching the bowl because um, I call my husband to come help me. Because you do need, I feel like you need two people for this. And because I didn't want to drop anything. So he made a good point to switch to a smaller bowl for now. Because uh, it, it was easier to pour. So we switched to a smaller bowl. And I have him holding it down while I pour. And I'm just going to pour and stir with the spoon until we get all the mixture down. And you will see everything that's been catched on the cheesecloth and then the cremas begin. <music> Okay guys, after all that work, look at all the lime zest, the cinnamon, nutmeg, all that. You do not you do not want that in your cremas. So the cheesecloth did its job and even some sugar that didn't get melted down, you know. We don't want that. So we're just going to throw that away and our um cremas, we're going to transfer that mixture into the bigger bowl, the green bowl I saw you earlier. And we could get the fun part started. I feel like this was the boring part. <laughs> so now we transfer our mixture to the green bowl. Deep. You see how deep it is? Now we are going to add our cream of coconut. The cream Lopez. Make sure you shake it very well, guys. So what we're going to do with that one because I shake it, but it's look how it's coming out. It's still a little lumpy. Sometimes it comes out great. Sometimes it gives me this lumpiness. So we're just going to use a, a strainer and we're going to pretty much use that to cream it out. Because we don't want the lumps going in the cremas. Um, because we already used the cheese cloth to strain the cremas and we're not going to strain it again. But there's no actual lump. It just, that's how it come out. So once you strain it, it's fine. So after we added that cream of coconut, we stir. And now we're going to add our carnation milk. Um, I use two for this cremas, and when we adding and stirring, guys, remember one side only. And after we add that, we can move on to the condensed milk. <laughs> Now we're going to add the condensed milk, 
the best part. <laughs> a fun fact about dense milk is, you know, when you're little and your mom is making cremas, man, you're just waiting for her to give you that can after she pour it down so you can lick away and just got to be careful so <laughs> so you won't cut yourself but it is truly the best part you just lick lick it tastes so good and um so guys we're just pouring and stirring like the carnation milk i actually use about six i think in the video you see five but i actually use six um now a fun fact little history about cremas is that yes we Haitian love cremas like I really truly haven't met one Haitian that didn't like that doesn't like cremas you know and it's just cremas is very special to us because one it's not made that often maybe once or twice a year and you know it's mostly fine you will mostly find cremas at wedding like baptism you know, special events, you'll find cremas, but it's not made that often. So, you know, when we find it, we just want to drink it all, you know, um, it, cremas is just very special and it's not a drink where you're just going to take a big cup and just chug down, you know, you really just want to, you know, enjoy the moment. So it's very special to us. And, um, and I see why people don't make it that often because, I mean, look at all the work, guys. <laughs> so we're just going to add and stir, okay? Now for another fun part, we are adding all alcohol. I am using the Diamond 151 Overproof. Um, I found this at my local liquor store. Um, like I said earlier, you do want a strong alcohol to use in the climax because um, due to the milk, the condensed milk and everything, you need something that's going to overpower those tastes to kind of so you could kind of feel like the cremas have alcohol, you know. If you use something weak, like like something weak, like uh, I feel like Babonku or Bacardi or something, I feel like those are too weak. You won't really taste the alcohol in it. And um, if you add too much, like, you know, like two bottles or something for the amount you're making, like you're looking at right now, it'll probably be very liquid cremas and you don't want that you know you want a nice um thickness into your cremas so this liquor worked best whenever i'm making it i usually use this liquor and it's been working fine for me and um i think i paid about 20 dollars, which was not bad at all so we um we add and we stir and i'm gonna taste to see if i need more i'm sure i do because i like my crema strong okay and this is the part I said, bump this. We are going all in. We adding everything, honey. Yes. Strong cremas. <laughs> yeah, but it's still, you still, it's still drinkable, okay? It's not strong to where you, you know, you'll get like drunk or something. Um, but it did need all the bottle.
So we are adding our vanilla and almond extract. So I use two tablespoons of vanilla in total and one, ta one tablespoon of the almond extract. And we are going to add and stir. I love adding, adding one at a time and I stir and then I taste and then I see how it tastes and then that will determine how much I add more. mom does this when she make pimas so I see she do it so I do it you know I just stick with the hot with the habit so what we're gonna do we're gonna take some lime we're gonna cut we're gonna take a lime we're gonna cut it get the lime juice out and we are gonna put it in the pimas no now that is going to give it a nice citrusy taste not you're not gonna really taste it but it's gonna be there and it also give it thickness, which is also a good thing. So I think on in total, I add two tablespoons of the um, lime juice. Okay, guys, we did it. We made it through the final, final steps. I am so happy you guys made it this far. If you're making it with me, I'm so happy. Hopefully, yours tastes as good as mine. And <laughs> what I have here is a couple bottles. I buy uh, the two fancier looking one at Ross. I bought the other two at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. You can't go wrong with that. You just wash wash them and let it air dry. And then, of course, we're going to use the liquor bottle. We don't waste nothing here, honey. Okay, to make this easy to pour, guys, we're going to use this funnel I bought at the Dollar Tree. It, can, it came in like three different sizes. This is the medium size. And we're just going to um, get our bottle. And we're going to put the funnel in the bottle and we're going to use a plastic cup to a clean plastic cup to get the cremas and we're going to just pour into the bottle so it could just look like we have real cremas. And I am just showing you guys how everything looks. You can still see the cinnamon and it just looks so delicious. Okay guys, so now we have our cremas. We are done. We have a total of six bottles. Um, I actually had this Babo Bomb bottle. It was almost done, so thank God I, for that. I used it. Um, and I still had some left over in the, like in the um, bowl. So I am going to drink that for the rest of the day. And we get to put our bottle in our bar. So this is after... Uh, about two days and this is how thick your cream is supposed to be look at that okay nice and thick and delicious guys yes Yes, guys, we are done. Look at our cremas. Look good, taste good. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys get a chance to try this. If you do, comment down below and tell me how yours tastes. And um, I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, have a blessed one. Mwah.